Hey guys, it's 320 Starlight. Welcome back to more Le Legend of Zelda The Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we managed to get through the fog, f managed to get through the whole fog, and made it to the, nor to the northwestern uh, sector of the Great Sea. And in this episode, we're gonna go fishing, uh, ironically. As you can see, there is a fish shadow up on the screen, and you'll want to draw your path in a way that intersects with it, because the fish is a, cause fish is actually going to move around a lot, and will, and you have to make sure you're on top of it before you can actually go fishing. Maybe it would be best if I actually went around the island of Gus. Maybe that'll work. Oh, another. Oh, you again. Oh, shoot. Gotta take care of these things. Oh, whoa. It's mini cyclones. Almost went went right into them. Okay. Here, fishy, fishy. You'll know when you when you're able to fish when the little when you bring up the menu and you see the fish icon uh, light up. Okay, here's how here, here's how you need to fish. I will teach you some of the secrets of fishing. Slide the st stylus down the screen to pull on your rod. To reel in, make small circles with your stylus. When you get a bite, lift on the rod to set the hook. Timing is key. Okay, here we go. Ah, dang it! Missed. Let's wait until. Let's go. Let's sail around until another one appears. Look there. There's an island that's marked. That isn't marked on our charts. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, got it. Hey, you got a bite. The key to fi fishing is knowing when to pull uh, up on your rod and reel in. If you do don't do anything, the gauge on top will drop fast. Make the gauge rise by sliding down the screen uh, away from the fish. While the gauge is up, reel in the fish by making circles with your stylus. The fish will jump. This one's the tricky one. When it jumps, st take the stylus off the screen and ease up or it'll get away. Almost got it. Whoa. Got it! You caught a skippy jack. These fish are coming, but they sure are tasty. Check the screen. Check the collection screen. Whew. Finally got one. Hang on a sec. Anyways, there are three fish that we need to catch. A, a, a uh, skibby jack, a tuna, and a luvar. Once you get um, uh, all three, go, go visit the Wayfair guy, and, and he'll get... And it'll give you a prize for catching up uh, all three of them. You need to catch one of each of, the, uh, of them.
I think that's another Skippy Jack. Looks like it. Alright guys, I'm back and we finally caught a Luvar. Took a while to find one. It's not it's not very pretty, but it's very mild mannered. Alright, that is all three fish. Let me go ahead and bring up the collector thing. No way that's not it. This way. Here are the fish right here. Here's the fish that you'll that you need to that 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 you'll be that you need to collect the Skip the Skippy Jack, the tuna, and the Luvar. Once you've collected all three, head back to the to Banana Island. All right, now that we have all three fish, let's talk to him. Oh, young man, show me what you've hauled in. Sure. Where where is it? Oh, let's see. Such a stern yet distinctive manly expression, like my own. There's no doubt. This is a Luvar. Whew, impressive. Even for a romantic fish, fisherman like myself, it's rare a treat to see a luvar. Nice work, young man. Looks like you got the ore that beckons the fish. There's a gift for you. And you get the big catch lure. As long as you have that, it should be easier to catch great fish. It when you've caught a rare one, don't hesitate to come see me. What he means by rare is a fish called a rusty swordfish. These are really huge fish. If you, When you catch one, get... Return to him ASAP. Found one! Yes! Rusty Swordfish! These guys are pretty tough to catch. And I mean really tough. Just gotta get it, come on. Ooh! You're not getting away from me, Buster. You're mine! Ha ha! You caught a rusty swordfish. It measures 11 feet 10 inches. This is a big one. It's got an impressive pattern on its back. Alright, we caught a rusty swordfish. Now let's go show that to the w old wayfarer. Whew! Oh, young man, show me what you've hauled in. Sure. There, let's see. The sword uh, is sharp like my passion for adventure. This is a rusty swordfish! <laughs> Impressive! Rusty swordfish are backbreakers even for bold men passion like myself. Nice work, young man. Because your skills are quite equal to mine, you're more deserving of this gift. And you get a, shield, a, a, a ship part. I think a courageous fisherman such as yourself can do it. Lately, fish shadows have been sighted uh, on the sea surface. Rumors are swirling that among the bold and hardy fishermen, the legendary s fish Neptuna ha surfaces once again. If, you're, if you were to catch one, you would truly be legendary romantic. Yes, legenda the legendary Neptuna. It is the hardest fish to capture. The only way to find it is to fish in uh, is to go for fish shadows that uh, are in the shape of. Well, a uh, rusty swordfish. Neptuna is basically a black rusty swordfish, and it is very hard to find. It, 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 its shadow uh, appears at at random. So it, so we're gonna have to continue on. At, at, so we're gonna have to continue on without it. And lo and behold, we have a new I island. Look, there's an island that isn't marked on our charts. Blah, blah, blah.
Let's go ahead and mark it on our charts. And we're gonna actually head there. And welcome to Zaz's Island. But unfortunately, we're running a bit low on time, so I'm going to end the episode right here. Alright guys, next time on Legend of Zelda, the Phantom Hourglass, we're going to explore Zaz's Island and then that island that we saw a little while ago while fishing. See you guys later.